vacuum pack ammo? Well, I think it's a good idea. Tag along with me as we vacuum pack some ammo. 12 gauge shotgun shells, 5.56, 22 mini mags, and 9 millimeter. We're going to vacuum pack these and date them January 2010. We'll make a cache. I'm going to bury it for six months. And then in six months, tag along with me as we unearth this cache. We'll take it to the range and test fire it, see how things go. Two sets go. with the portable vacuum pump and two sets with the bench top. Okay, here's uh, our 12 gauge shotgun shells. Okay, let's seal up the 22 mini mag. For the uh, last two, the 9mm and the 5.56, we're going to use the bigger bench top uh, vacuum sealing device. And I'm also going to put a uh, tube stocking uh, cover on the 5.56 ammo just to keep everything all together. I just wanted to use two different systems. Um, I think you could use either one, but uh, since we're doing a little uh, cache test, um, I thought I would uh, show this method as well. First step you're going to do is make a bag the size that you need for the um, ammo. And uh, you basically need to make it about two inches, two inches longer than the uh, piece that you're going to seal. So in this case this is adequate. We'll use the cutter. Now we're going to turn the machine on and we'll seal that end. While we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and put the uh, ammo in the tube sock. So we've got a nice package there. We've got a sealed bottom. Put our label in 2010. Now we'll vacuum pack this down. Okay, there's the 556 M. Okay, 9mm January 2010. Okay guys, so we've taken our vacuum sealing equipment, food saver, um, and have vacuum packed some ammo and put it in a cache for a rainy day. Tag along and we'll talk about how to make a cache. This is just the beginning of it. And um, this weekend I'm going to go bury this cache and then we'll unearth it in six months and see how this does. But I've got that full load of ammo in this cache ready to go. So you're looking at 5.56, five, 9 millimeter. 12 gauge shotgun and 22 mini mags. Okay. I'll put away. We're going to put that away for a rainy day. Okay, guys, I'm going to revisit the adventure tube. I actually dug Matt's tube up and I'm going to be relocating it because, well, quite frankly, his uh, top secret shooting place has changed now. And um, I'm going to have him look for this uh, this summer with a metal detector. So I wanted to revisit this because I wanted to talk about a different cap option. And I do not recall the name of the uh, gentleman that left me a comment. He's a plumber. Uh, he saw the Adventure Tube video. 
and he uh, recommended another cap option. So I have two tubes buried, as you guys might remember. I'll give you a link for the uh, original uh, video. I'm going to leave one buried with this uh, test cap, and I'm going to uh, reconfigure mats with this other cap, and we'll take a look at how that works. So this is called a Plum Quick 4-inch Quick Cap, and uh, basically it is a rubber cap and it is secured with a worm drive stainless steel clamp. Now uh, the viewer that commented on this uh, wanted to let me know he's a plumber and these test caps are not meant to be buried underground and uh, he recommended using these caps for these adventure tubes. Now remember my tube is sealed in a sleeve of um, food saver bag and that'll protect this cap but nonetheless if you're going to be making one of these tubes this is another option for you to take a look at so I'm going to take that apart and we'll get that set up. So uh, this particular tube is made with uh, a section of ABS 4 inch drain pipe and I got this at um, local Home Depot and it comes pre-cut in a 4 inch by 2 uh, foot piece which this is a pretty good size for the adventure cache tube that I'm making, but you can certainly use any diameter that you want and any length that you want. Now, I have been using these caps on the bottom. You can also get a different cap to seal the bottom, but this is a nice profile. It doesn't stick out real fat around the edge, and I kind of like it. The other thing is this is a test cap and if you needed additional access you can knock this out and get access to your contents. So I think this is a good option and I just glue that in the bottom of the tube. Right, let's take a look at uh, Matt's tube here. Now remember I took a small piece of sock and I covered the end of the wing nut uh, just to keep it protected and you can also coat this with uh, white lithium grease or axle grease if you want just to keep this from corroding but uh, let's take this out and we're going to switch this over to the other cap so again this is one of those test caps it's actually held up pretty good it's been sealed in a food saver bag so no exposure to dirt alright now let me just show you the contents of Matt's tube they're uh, held in a uh, uh, mesh sock and I've got one end is tied and just to let you guys remember what's in here this is a bunch of uh, shooting supplies for Matt's pellet gun which I think he'll kind of dig opening up now some other options for these socks that you can use I wanted to bring that up I went to the uh, thrift store and bought a, I think there's six in here, full length tube socks. So these make perfect storage tubes. Of course they're sealed at one end which is perfect and you can just zip tie the end closed if you want and then you've got a nice liner tube to slide into your adventure cache tube. So that's a good option. Another option from the uh, gun store that I wanted to bring up in case you want to perhaps uh, secure a pistol or a rifle in a larger diameter tube these are anti-corrosion bags for a rifle and for a pistol and um, you could certainly use those as a sleeve and then stick the uh, firearm in a cash tube tuck it away for a rainy day now if you did that you might want to consider putting an adequate supply of ammunition appropriate magazines and perhaps a small cleaning kit so that you've got a complete this set cap right on Matt's tube just going to turn it to the side here a little hard to do with one hand okay well uh, trust me guys uh, that went on uh, pretty easy but uh, definitely not something you can do uh, one handed on the uh, video camera so I'm just getting that clamp centered in the groove and let's tighten that guy down 
and I'm still going to put this in a food saver bag mainly because I just want to protect it from the dirt and uh, it'll just make reusing the uh, cash tube that much easier okay you don't have to vacuum seal them but uh, you just take a appropriate diameter piece of food saver bag slide it over as a protective sleeve and then just seal the ends okay I'm going to use a section of 11 inch wide food saver bag and uh, we'll use that as the uh, protective sleeve all right we have our food saver bag set up let's get this in there and um, I want to get it buried tonight good little surprise for Matt all right I'm just gonna seal that and uh, put this in the uh, ground for Matt he's gonna look for it later this summer with a metal detector will bring you guys along when he uh, digs this up I think it'll be a lot of fun and remember I've got some ammo stashed in another uh, cash tube I'm gonna be taking that out to the range probably with the kids so we'll let you take a look at that as well 